God. The ancient word of Anglo-Saxon origin means spear, a sacred weapon used by many, many human cultures and always feared for its might. It must have been an obvious comparison to the badassery of this over a hundred million years of evolutionary super predator fish. Still swimming after the times of the dinosaurs of which they came, the Mesozoic period. Yes, that means they hunted and were hunted by dinosaurs, swam in the same water, still survived, have a swim bladder from their era like the bowfin and so many others able to survive in and out of water. Ganoid scales, nearly impenetrable to most other predator fish. Scales even used by Native Americans for arrow tips in their archery and honored with guard dances by Creek and Chickasaw tribes. Imagine the levels of cunning. Imagine the levels of intelligence amongst the seven species still remaining. Alligator guard, the Caribbean guard, Florida guard spotted, and my favorite, native to my Georgia, long nose guard, or as I like to call them, with respect to George Clinton's Parliament Funkadelic stories, Sir Nose and Miss Nose, because the girls are the biggest, baby, and they are the baddest. Oh, yeah. They don't just take it and run with it. They'll come back at you like, who dare challenge me? Anglers, you better put some respect on the name and get the word trash out your mouth unless you're talking about your own mentality because that's a human concept. This fish is the truth. And this love story is my testament to the long-nosed God. Hmm. What's up, y'all? This video. Oh, this video. Yeah. Yeah, this, this one here. This one here is epic. And I've been thinking long and hard all day after this incredible moment as to whether or not I wanted to edit a certain part and try to work around it versus just tell the story how it went. And I've come to the decision. I'm going to just tell the story how it went. A prehistoric. Let that sink in. Prehistoric fish. Yes. They are over a hundred, one hundred million years old and their designs have not changed much since the original so a lot of people in the angler world not all definitely not all because more and more there's a growing culture of gar enthusiasts but some people like to call gar and bowfin and catfish and a ton of other fish trash fish i don't even like to say the words because I have a hashtag and I mean it. There is no such thing as a trash fish. No such thing as a trash fish. Trash is a human concept. And only trashy people create trash. 
and label things trash based on their one-sided mind states for whatever reasons. And it's a long history of whys and whys and whys, but none of them add up to any justification for labeling a fish as trash. Other than elitist, cultural, individual, taste, whatever you want to call it. But the bottom line is, if you don't like the fish, don't fish for it. But you never know what you're going to catch. If you catch the fish, respect the life as a life. Find a way to catch and release it. If, you don't, if you're fishing to eat and you don't eat them, catch and release. Tug is the drug. I promise you, if you get into gar, you'll never forget. Never forget the tug. <laughs> never. They are pure power. Like a jolt of lightning through your body when you first touch one. I promise you this. You're in for a fight. Please believe it. But most importantly, if you can appreciate the beauty, even in what looks odd or what have you. Because to me, they never looked odd. They were just so different. I might use the word odd to describe at times, but really and truly, I don't want it to come off like an insult because it's a compliment when I say you're weird. But I like it. She's strange just the way she is. Strange and I like it. <laughs> you gotta look that up, youngsters. That's cameo. Classic, classic. But real talk, Gar being a hundred million years old deserve our respect. And I finally can say I have officially joined the Gar Club of Anglers. <laughs>
So y'all, today, if you can see the bank and the difference in the way that looks and the way this looks, this is drier, sun has been hitting this, but the water rose in an area that I can normally walk and see all those footprints, be slipping and carrying on. That's not good. But I'm just gonna have to do what I gotta do. It's gonna be real hard to land a monster, but um, because you mess around and fall and all that. I'm literally gonna probably be sliding on my behind with the net, holding the other hand, doing a lot of acrobatics. But we'll get them. Ever speak too absolute about anything? Now, I'm gonna give you some good tips. I'm gonna tell you what worked for me. I'm not about to act like it's the end all be all. So there's this general rule. Folks say you need the 20 to 30 second rule of once a guard has caught onto your bait. My experience, now that I've actually caught one, I realized, well, as you're gonna see how long it took me to catch one, I realized it doesn't matter what you think about your seconds and all of that. It's how the fish is determining its path of the bait down the back of its mouth. Oh, 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 oh. 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 oh, yeah, here we go, here we go, baby, finally, here we go, here we go, stay on there, you bad sucker, I see you, I see you, oh my gosh, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is it, this is, no, oh my god, it let go, oh my god. It let go. I thought I knew I had it. Had the hairs. Had to have it all. Look at that. Holy shit. Oh, man. It was tearing it up. Oh, my God. Fish. Oh, I saw it, too. It was like a two and a half. Could have been a three. I don't know. I know it was a nice size guard. God, don't mighty. Look how much it chomped up that head. Look at that, look at that, y'all. Look how much it tore it up. And how it had the hair. It had, my theory worked. That's probably the only thing had it hooked. Oh my goodness gracious. It wasn't even fighting back at first. It wasn't until I got it close that it started yanking, yanking. I could feel it yanking both ways and that's when it let it go somehow. Tails off, y'all. Probably that same guard that followed me to shore had already hit me, and I just couldn't feel it. <laughs> the tails are longer than that. I gotta re rig get another one on here. So, if you're fishing with live bait or you're fishing with frozen cut bait, which for me has been most successful, I've tried only a few times some live brim. Unfortunately, the brim didn't last long and they just never got hit. I'm thinking, wow, easy prey. Why don't you get this? For whatever reason, they didn't hit it. But that frozen, just sitting out there like easy opportunity. Come and get it. Oh, yeah. They get it all right. Check out this cast. Check this out, y'all. If this is if this is a football field, a hundred. Um, wait a minute. I'm getting out. Of it. Oh, oh, yeah. 
yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Come on here. Come on here. Yeah, 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 yeah. You still on there. Give you some time to feel you. There you go. Mm, jerk, jerk, jerk. That's you. That's God. God. Whoa, monster God. Monster God. Oh, snap. Pole bending. Don't you let go. Don't you let go. Don't you let go. Don't you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Don't you let go. Don't you let go. Damn it, let go. Did it? No, no, no. You on there. You want it? Let him take it. 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 Look at him. Look at him cutting across. Look at him. Look at him cutting across. Oh, that, let go. Oh, sheesh. Oh, man. That was a hit. That was a freaking hit. Oh, my gosh. That felt good. I should have tightened up on it. Oh, oh. Mm. using my little method of trying not to jerk it too hard because I know you can literally pull it out of their mouth and they, they you know it's just all physics with them it's like fishing for a gigantic uh, brim type of thing brim will teach you a lot about fishing for God like if you have to let them catch themselves it's all that physics you gotta let them tug against it let me see let me feel it okay I don't feel no no tooth marks though that's different that's real different Oh, it mean the line is smooth right here where it would have been in the mouth. That means he only had the fish. Oh my God, that felt good. They say that the muscalange, the mighty master of pike, the big monster, is the fish of a thousand cast. And most anglers say, I gotta catch one, me too, before I leave this earth. I can't wait to fish hardcore for pike of all species. But let me tell y'all something. Gar, add them to your badass list and keep them there with respect. Because if a muscalange is the fish of a thousand cast, a gar is the fish of a thousand runs, man. baby. Come on then. <laughs>
I could go on and on. The bottom line is the battle got lost. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I could give you the blow for blow and tell you about how it turned in the water and how it, it took me three, three approaches to the shore. And mind you, I'm on a slippery slope of muddy riverbank and I literally sat down, well, was forced to sit down. I've seen videos of this where folks talk about this. They either fight like hell or they slow down and you wonder why they're not fighting and you say, because they're coming at you. They, you, know, you know, if you ever had a fish, some fish don't do this, but some fish swim at you and it messes you up a little bit because you used to fish going, if you fish the stuff I fish most of my life, bass, they're always away. Catfish is always, let me get away. It's rare that they're going to swim at you. I'm not saying it doesn't happen. I don't want to hear the folks talking anyway. The point is, these fish, gar are so smooth and people speak of them as being aggressive just simply by they, how they look. Yeah, they're aggressive when they're hunting. Yeah, they're aggressive if you're messing with them, if you're not handling them right once you got them landed. But by their nature, they're not like set on biting you. They could care less about you. They are curious though. So I think what happens, this is my non-scientific opinion of the catch and the energy of it, is they come at you because they are holding the bait saying, who is this tugging me backwards? Who has the nerve and audacity to challenge the 100 million DNA? <laughs> you, and, when they, and when they finally get within range of you, if they have not been fighting already, because what I've experienced is an explosion at the minute you set the hook and then it chills and then halfway they just throw it. And I've had that more times than I want to count. So she fought like hell at the shore. She turned, that's when she's like, as soon as she realized, oh, this is who's pulling me in. Wow, 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 you know. And that happened at least three good times, pulling, pulling me back out, taking lines. I'm like, oh, snap. Coming back again, taking more lines. I mean, I was like, yeah, yeah, you ain't, you ain't even hearing it. And I love it. And finally got her where she would relax. And that's always the scariest part with a guard. Because now you're like, you can't. You never know, right? You sitting there saying, okay, I got I to gotta touch her just right. I got to hold it just right. First time I grabbed, I'm saying, whoa, because she shook one good time. And I was like, oh, this is different. First, I'm getting used to the fact they're so hard. I knew they were hard, but I mean hard. It's like even the soft part around the guts is protected by like leather with armor plating. I mean, this stuff is seriously everything you've read if you've never caught one that locked together. And when they say that you don't grab a gar, you don't go against the thread, like if you rubbing this way, keep rubbing toward the tail. Do not go back toward the head. If you got bare hands, you about to get cut. At the edge of every fin, there's rows of these little tiny sections that bring it all together with the body and they are like pins. And then the scales themselves are like blades that if when they're flexing and all they do when they move is, you know, they do their flex and they, mm -mm, if they trying to get away, that little uh uh with your hand bare, you are you about to wear you about to be in the ICU if you got it real good. They could mess you up. And you know, if you're river fishing like this and waters like the Chattahoochee that are known for sometimes well not sometimes, it's just a reality. There's there's less uh contaminated water and there's really contaminated water. I'm I'm in less contaminated but still stuff so you don't want to get cut because you if you ain't got no peroxide or something to immediately kill the germs and bugs in your old body you gonna have a problem bottom line is i didn't have no cuts i didn't have any issues once i got used to her strength which was really to this today my forearm is sore my palm muscle right here is aching because of the grip i had to keep on that tail it was it was insane it was just really amazing the pure power of that fish and, uh, and it was just as powerful, if not more powerful in a different way than a 24 pound catfish. You know, still remaining my biggest at 24 seven, but this thing was 11, four, 11 pounds, four ounces, 44 inches, longer than the catfish, but so dang powerful. I mean, every jolt is literally just, it's, it's electric. That's the only word I can describe it. The crazy thing was, just the fact that I saw a little bit of blood coming from one of her gills. And I said, oh, damn. Because th at that moment, I thought she had deep-throated the... I thought she had swallowed the bait with the hook and all. And I said, 
know, you know, because I've always tried to time that out perfectly to never get into any of that. Just get into the slight meaty part yeah. before it goes into the throat and you're good. That's what most of our anglers always talk about. If you get dead, you got a nice clean catch and smooth catch and release. She had thrown the bait. I saw it yeah. when she first got on shore with me. She whipped one good time. Yeah. And I saw I saw the line. I was still busy looking at her. I didn't even notice that the bait flew out. So I thought she broke yeah. the line. I said, Tink. you know, I thought she had cut the line on bait. I've had that happen with the catfish. One more bucket, you're going to start Multiple flying. times, actually. Twice with yeah. blue. Um, and so that's what I thought happened. I said, oh, man. And I said, maybe she'll be all right. Because she's still gasping. She's still breathing. I said, all right, cool. So while I'm getting everything ready and I'm still seeing her gasping and stuff, I can take the pictures, I do everything. I said, okay, let me get you back in the water. I get her back in the water. She's still breathing, still breathing. I'm like, okay, all right, what's the matter, girl? Why you ain't, you ought to be throwing water in my face, splashing the hell out of me with the back tail. The, wow, I should be like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and she's just not moving enough, y'all. She's doing it every now and then. I'm like, oh, damn. What is wrong? What the hell's wrong? I look over to the side and I realize she spit the bait. At one point, she did have it. Maybe when I set the hook, it pinched one of her gills somehow because her head expanded enough for it to fall into that area of her head because it's you know, all that's real close together in the anatomy. And if they spread out their head trying to throw something, I could imagine if a hook goes back, it could probably nip a gill and then still be in the mouth like it was when I got it short and then she threw it. I, it's a million different possibilities, right? Get you back. There you, yeah, there it is. There it is. You in it. Oh, gosh. Uh, ooh, look at the smoke coming out them gills. Blowing that smoke. Look at that, that engine cranking. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. I said your name is God. I'm going to make them respect you, baby. I'm going to make them respect you. You best believe it. I'm going to make them respect you. We're going to be legends together, sweetheart. Yes, we are. Sad scenario is, got her in the water at one point, I saw blood coming out. I said, damn it. And it wasn't a whole lot, but it was enough to be concerned. And I said, oh no, this fish ain't gonna make it, I don't think. And so I kept doing everything I could, you'll see. But in the end, old girl said, this is my last day. And I watched her take her last breath. That hit different. That gave the whole of all this different purpose. Because the other part was, I said to myself, okay, I'm curious about how God tastes. I'm not ashamed to eat one. But if I were going to eat one, I would prefer one to be smaller, like my rule for every bigger fish, especially in the river where I'm fishing, because of the amount of contaminants and stuff in the meat. So I said, uh, I survived 2020. I'm surviving COVID. I'd just be damned if the fish I love takes me out because I messed around with the eggs. No, not going to do it. But we are going to honor this fish. She will be mounted. She will be honored. It'll never, it'll never be in vain. I'm going to get this thing done right. It's going to be beautiful. But I'm proud of this catch. And I did respectfully freeze her up. And she will, like I say, be honored forever. Because she's in here no matter what. That's my first. That's my first. Go!
And when I say forever, she's 44 inches long. Sacred numerology. Four plus four is what? Eight. Turn it sideways. It's the infinity number. Welcome to the infinity. God quest. Today is our day. Today is a day for God. This is why I signed up to have my son take a muddy picture. I mean, uh, a clean picture with the with the uh, club tail angler, the dragonfly angler, Mr. Joseph R. Wheeler the third. Yes, ma'am, this is it right here. Okay, like I said, could you please try to make sure he keeps dirt off? Oh, mom, why can't I have dirt on me? It's my picture. Boy, if you don't hush up. Now, I got you out here looking all pretty with your green scales. And your, your pretty black spots, just like your daddy. Look just like him. And got your white belly and everything. You're all pearly on there. You look nice. I don't want to look nice. Oh, God. Sir, we're ready to take the picture whenever you are. Okay, ma'am, step right this way. Just have him nibble on that there bait. Have him nibble. <laughs> yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Run, baby, run. Okay. This is the most dangerous part, is picking up this pole. Just let it run. Let it run, let it run. Let it run. Oh, shit. Feel me. Okay, let it run, let it run. Let it run. Let it run. Gosh, it's taking some line. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh yeah, it's about that time. 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 God, this fish taking some line. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Let's go. That's just a little bit. Better, better, better feel it first. There you go, I feel you. Now, keep that tip on up. Come slow, come in slow. I ain't even gonna fight hard because you're gonna fight when you get closer. This I know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, you still there. You still there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, jerk, jerk, jerk. Yes. Yes. Gotcha. Gotcha. Oh, don't you let it go. Don't you let it go. Come on. Come on. Come on. Here we go. Here we go. Yes, yes. Here we go. Here 
comes to sh- Don't get me caught. You don't got me caught. You don't got me caught. You don't got me caught. You don't wait for the tree. No, you ain't. You out. You out. You out. You out. Come on past that tree. Come here. Come here. Let me see you, sweetie. Come on here. Yeah, you are. Yes. <laughs> Perfect size. <laughs> Perfect size for the show. Oh, yes. Look at all them spots on you. You're looking good, man. You're looking good. You're all green. You got different color. You're showing me variety. I love it. Now, I got you out here looking all pretty with your green scales and your pretty black spots, just like your daddy. Look just like him. And Oh, man. Look at you. Ah, this part. Oh, <laughs> I am so official right now. Oh my gosh, I am so official right now. <laughs> All right, this is the part. You got plastic. Oh, you you officially Chattahoochee guard. You came in with doggone plastic wrapped around the doggone hook from his stupid people leaving mess out there for you to get into. Oh, shout out to the dollar store gloves. Ooh, as you still got the edge of one with your bad self. That's why I love y'all. Y'all off the chair. I feel that pulsating grunt. Like, give me, can you, can I get my hook? Look how they got the hook. That's the spot. You don't get toward the back. You ain't gonna get nothing with them. Oh, you a pretty one too. Young Mr. Bad. I'm gonna say you're a boy. Cause I know the girls get the biggest, so we just gonna hope you're not offended if that's not the case. Ah, ain't trying to make it on some human stuff. <laughs> oh my wow, you are like nope, not letting it go. I think you doggone find a way. You must have got the brim. Oh man, let me see. He is not. Let me see. He is not giving up this hook, y'all. Not at all giving up this hook. Like this is my hook. It came with it. I'm keeping it. I said I'm keeping it. Let me get it. Let me get it. Come on. That. Ah. Da, 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 da. Ah. Isn't that beautiful to see how it got it? That's the perfect hook. That's the put No blood, no nothing. Just <laughs> look at that. Look at that. God. Doggone it. Superstar God. Let me wash y'all for the cam. Let's do it official, baby. Ah. You all right. Man, man. Oh no! I still got you on camera. I know your manager. Hold on. You still close. I might be able to get you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh man, what you got this one for you? Come here. Come here. Oh. Fumbled all the way down to here. He said, I don't want no clean pictures. You're trying to make me pretty for my mama. I'm a boy, and I know it's a boy, because we like taking dirty pictures. <laughs> pictures. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. Don't I know you're going to do it. Oh, you look like this. <laughs> Got my cam all muddy. Got pictures, but yeah, that's all right. That's all right. And I ain't going through what I already been through with these beautiful fish. I'm not here to kill them. I just want to catch them for the cam. Have these memories that I'll never ever end. There you are. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. When I say he is okay. <laughs> Oh, yes. Hell yes. God. Oh. Whew. I feel redeemed now. Yes, that's beautiful, y'all. That's beautiful. That's what it's all about right there. If it ain't for the meal, it's definitely for the thrill. The tug is the drug for these fish I love. Honest Con Fishing Tournament. Let's go. Uh, mama? Yes, boy. Mama, why why is the bait moving back away from me? I thought you said I could have this bait for free. 
Oh, you can have it for free, but that is the photographer's baby. Who are you talking about? Boom, oh, mama, mama. Don't worry, boy, you'll be back. He's going to let you go. He don't want to keep you. I know I wouldn't. He's so wild and crazy. Goodness gracious, that boy, wow. Look at him. That's my boy. Fight, boy, fight. Fight, boy. Oh, yeah. I hear him. He coming out the water. There you go. Mm -hmm. And there you go, right back in. Then nobody wants you. I tell you, you're crazy. <laughs> don't nobody want to deal with all that. Now, get all that mud off you. We're going to your, to your auntie's funeral. Who got auntie? Well, that man up there that you just had the picture with. What? Yeah, yeah. It's all right. Your, your auntie, you know, we, we reincarnate every year. She'll be back. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. You'll see her again. <laughs> you will see her again.